So our IDs are persistent, unique identifiers, and they label the kinds of things that scientists use in the course of their study to do the science that they need to do. These things are really incredibly cool. They're very simple on the one hand because they just label the thing, right? So you can imagine it like you have a recipe. And if you have a recipe and you say, hey, I used flour, but then your recipe doesn't turn out quite right, what happens is, well, maybe you use the wrong flour. Right? So scientists have a lot of different reagents that they use, and sometimes they don't, in fact, quite often, they don't use quite enough information in their, in their communication, in their scientific paper, that tells you which of the reagents they actually use. So did they use a white flour? Did they use a cake flour? Did they use a whole wheat flour? It actually makes sense if you're gonna make pastries to not use the whole wheat flour necessarily, but you're never gonna know that unless you actually label it properly. So the RRID initiative is a way for scientists to make sure that they're using enough information, using those persistent identifiers like UPC codes for the exact thing that they used, not the general thing that they used. Make sense?